good to be back on the air. It's Asian and let's play some more Wild Forest. So, we'll play a brand new account so I can walk you guys through the basics of the game as well as to give you gameplay only footage. So, enjoy. So, the controls for Wild Forest is simple. So, you can click on buildings and spots inside territories on the map to upgrade or build new buildings. And you control units on the map either by dragging them to their new movement or target location or by double tapping to command all units to obey. The game is very simple. You spawn with your town hall and one swordsman, same as your opponent of course, and your goal is to destroy the enemy town hall. So super simple. You battle for territories on the map which you can use to create more mines, barracks, and towers which allows you to summon enough force to destroy your opponent eventually. So you play games to gain trophies and to complete tasks which reward you with unit shards, unit NFTs, gold, and wild forest tokens. So these are used to play wild forest and compete in the leaderboards. However, we are concerned with earning in wild forest so for you, you can sell these wild forest NFTs on the Mavis marketplace. So if you get lucky with a good rare unit that's in the meta, it can easily net you like $10 a piece, so it's very very good especially for us in the C region, right? So, Additionally, if you don't want to use the units that you have, another option you have is to use the forge to burn them. So I have a separate video explaining the entire forge which you can find in my Wild Forest playlist. But basically the forge lets you burn units in exchange for essence which you can then use to buy unit packs and other items. At this point, you're probably wondering what is the point of leveling and gathering as many units in Wild Forest, right? So, the reason why people buy them is to burn them and to upgrade units to rare and legendary which is the two highest rarities. So, the reason for this is that rares and legendaries have access to perks which are powerful, unique buffs that can severely be beef up a unit with access to them like letting the unit attack multiple enemies for example or up to taking 30% reduced damage. So. As we all know, Wild Forest is super, super, super gearing itself up to be a competitive game and offering big prizes in the leaderboards in the form of Wild Forest tokens. So think of the Axie days where there are huge AXS rewards for players in the PvP leaderboard. Now, it's entirely up to the player uh, what exactly you want to pursue, but the main emphasis on this video is that you can earn in Wild Forest no matter how you play it and you don't need to invest anything unlock I unlike Axie back in the day. So I suggest that you give it a try now. You can start playing by checking the links in the description below. If you want a quick boost to your airdrop earnings as well, you can use my invite code below. But it's entirely optional, don't worry. That's all and I'll see you all on the other side.